Hi, welcome to the Crafty Stamper's Den. My name is Edith Gonzalez and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Today we're going to be making a simple card. And this is it. Using designer series paper from the upcoming celebration brochure from Stampin' Up! This paper will be free with a $50 purchase. Um, and it's called Penguin Playmates. We'll be using this paper today. And then I might do a surprise card at the end, so let's wait. To get started, I made a little card kit. So I have everything cut out here. And this is how simple this will be. If you're a beginning stamper, this is perfect for you. Okay. You need a basic A2 card a base. I cut out a piece of paper from the designer series packet at three and one quarter by five and a half. There's the size right there. I wrote it on the back. A piece of basic black, and that size is going to be three and three eighths by five and a half. A scrap for punching out. And then we're going to be using the double scallop. Uh, I mean the double oval punch. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is grab some glue and I put my multi-purpose glue inside this little bottle because it's easier for me. And we're going to put a little glue on the back. But before we do that, let's stamp. I'll leave that to the side. Hold on. I almost forgot the stamping. I'm going to be using Fresh Freesia ink. And from our stamp set, Penguin Place, which will be coming available soon, August 3rd, I'm going to be using the snowflakes. So I'm just going to go up and down the sides here, just random. and only up and down the uh, sides because we're really not going to see anything else. We don't have to stamp anywhere else. Notice how I move the stamp from one side to the other. That way it looks just a little different. Let me clean this off using our stamp and chamois and put this to the side. Now we'll go back to the little card and we'll put uh, glue on it. Hold on. You see that I don't use a lot of glue. You don't want to use a lot because it will show through and warp your paper. And I'm going to leave just about an eighth inch on either side. Oh, this is the one piece. That's the stamping piece. Here we go. It's as simple as this. Now I'm going to put some more glue on the back here. And we're going to center it on our card. I like to use the grid paper so I can see how much space is in between on the sides there. So it's about two little grids here. And I line it up on the bottom. And there's the base of your card. Okay. I'm going to bring in my oval punch. strip of paper here. I, may, I misplaced it. Let me get another one. I'm going to now ink my pad. I'm sorry, ink my stamp with the greeting. Also from the Penguin Place stamp set. And Evening Evergreen. I have it prepared and mounted already on my block. 
It says Seasons Greeting. I'm going to close this. I don't need it any longer. And I'm also going to take the punch. Let's take the punch out now and keep it to your left. I'm going to put a little gift box also from the uh, Penguin Place stamp set and I'm going to place it on the right side just for decoration. That's, that's ready. And in the black, use the scallop punch on the, on the top here. I'm going to glue these together. I love using the uh, glue because it's easy to maneuver and if it's easy to just adjust this if you place it down a little bit to the left or to the right, just move it around. My favorite glue. Alright, so next we're going to stamp the little gift box with a little present using the Fresh Freezy again. All the colors match in here. And have this mounted. Stamp it down. And I'm going to use my scissors to cut this out. Simple, easy, fussy cutting. Just straight lines. I like to leave a little white border. Now let's bring out the glue again. We're just going to place it right on the side here at a little angle. Next, I'm going to pull out Stampin' Dimensionals to put on the back of our little project here, our embellishment. I'm going to now place it on the card right, right about here. I've already pre-made a little bow using our black glittered organdy. It's absolutely beautiful, nice and sparkly. I'm going to attach it with a glue dot and put it on the side of the card here. And that's it folks, the card is done. Here we go, the original card and the one we just made. How quick was that? How simple? Now I'm going to do another card using the same paper that's going to be on sale August 3rd for customers called Penguin Playmates and it's um, free when you make a $50 order. This I have no plan for so let's see what we can do here. I picked another card base and this time I used uh, crumb cake. This is our crumb cake. I used from our Sweetly um, so Stitch So Sweetly dies, the biggest uh, frame here. And from our paper, which I'll show you the paper here, I cut out a few designs. You can just cut out each individual design to use. This little guy was already at the bottom of the page and I didn't want to waste him, so I'm going to use him in my card. So let's get that together. I'm going to use my glue when I place it somewhere. Here it is. I'm going to put glue on the back of the bear. The, each of those little animals are fussy cut with scissors. And I did put a little backing of paper on it so that I, you know, it was a little stronger. That was my preference. You don't have to do that. So I'm going to place him here, but I'm not going to put it down tight just yet. I'm not going to press it hard. I'm going to take the little penguin and put a little glue on the back 
and just a little bit in the front here. I'm going to place him behind our little bear. It's just sticking out, peekabooing. How do you like that? And then I'm going to put the cute little fox from the beautiful paper in the front. I'm going to place him here. They're all waiting for Santa Claus for Christmas. How do you like that so far? Maybe I'll put this little tree here. I had cut it out. I'm going to use it. Just a little bit of glue in the back. And I'll place it right here, right behind to give a little more balance. Oh, let's see. Right here. That works. All right. Now I'm going to pull out the perfectly plaid stamp set from our annual catalog and I'm going to pull out the sentiment Merry Christmas you can see I used this quite a bit from last year made a lot of cards with this and it was just beautiful I am going to use I'm going to pull out the color uh, just jade for the sentiment and that's our in colors from 20 20 through 2022 I'm going to place this on a block move that I'm going to pick it up with this block and I'm going to stamp let me stamp off and see how that looks that's good I'm going to stamp that at the top of the page here. Just center it. Hold it down for a few seconds so that the ink transfers onto the paper. Pick it straight up. Now let me clean this. I'm dropping things over here. Alright. Now I'm going to take the same snowflake stamp that I had before from our Penguin Place stamp set. And I think I'm going to use the same color as the paper to create some little snowflakes. So I pulled out my crumb cake stamp set, ink pad, I'm sorry. And I'll put a few snowflakes randomly here and there. Let's see how that looks. Put a few more. I'm liking that, just in the corners. Let's put this away. I'm going to put the uh, dimensionals on the back here so we can raise it up. Just five will be enough. Take the backing off. Huh, it's off already. And I'm going to put the card right here. What a sweet little card. I think I'm going to decorate this one with a little rhinestone. I'm going to use... Let's see which one. Let's see, this might be a little big. Why not? Let's put the big rhinestone down on the Christmas tree. And then, I was just remembering, we forgot to put a little rhinestone on the gift package here. So let's stick one on here too. How sweet and adorable are these two cards? I hope you enjoyed them 
and that you can make them too. I'll leave information in the description box below where you will be able to order these uh, from Stampin' Up! through me. Thank you so much for joining uh, my video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Share too. Thank you.